Welcome to the Cube uh, from uh, Dreamforce 2024. We're actually at the New York Stock Exchange uh, here covering uh, the news and uh, we're talking to a number of customers and partners. And what we're going to do right now is talk to uh, Raju Malotra, who is, uh, well, welcome Raju, who is uh, with uh, Certinia. So tell us about what you do, tell us about Certinia and, and why you're here, and then we'll go into some news. Yeah, hi, Christoph. Thanks for uh, having me here. I am Chief Product and Technology Officer at Certinia. Uh, and uh, I joined earlier this year, uh, and I've been in the product and technology uh, you know, area for the last uh, 20 years. Uh, Certinia, uh, in case uh, you know someone doesn't know, is a, one of the top uh, ISVs on Salesforce platform. And we focus on professional services uh, organizations. Great, so let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, why do you think that and uh, customers, uh, you're in the B2B business. Why do customers use you? What are the benefits of leveraging your platform? Obviously, professional services is a very important uh, expenditure, so it has to be up to maps. What do you do that is different and, and uh, sets you apart? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we have uh, professional services companies uh, that are pure play professional services companies like you know PwC or IBM. And we have professional services organizations within technology companies like Salesforce, Philips, <coughs> excuse me, Siemens, Cisco, that use uh, Certinia. And really, uh, one of the key reasons where uh, Certinia becomes uh, very helpful for our customers is bridging the gap between what uh, is being sold or was sold to the delivery of services. And really, you know, all the way from services estimation, contract, at the sales time, and then delivering that uh, by having the resource uh, management, resource optimization, all the way to consultants' time and entry, we really fill that gap and make our professional services customers uh, be successful. Got it. So really, there is a direct impact on, at the end, customer satisfaction, uh, making sure the projects get done on time, uh, that uh, resources are optimized. Uh, obviously, that's very key given the type of processes that get impacted by, by the platform. But let's talk about the, the news uh, that we heard on Thursday, and, and I think you'll have a follow-up uh, tomorrow. Tell us more about uh, what was just announced and uh, why is it important? Yeah. So. We announced uh, last week, in fact, Salesforce announced uh, the Agent Force Partner Network, uh, and they announced uh, Certinia as one of the key uh, ISVs, uh, early adopters of the Agent Force Partner Network. Uh, we have worked with Salesforce for a long time. We're a native uh, Salesforce platform company, and uh, all the way from the platform usage to Einstein, this is really an evolution, and this is very exciting where uh, AI is progressing to and how we can help our customers even more. So the Agent Force uh, uh, partner network, uh, you know, really having Certinia be part of that early innovation is very exciting for ourselves and also for our customers. Well, there's been a lot of talk about AI, I would say a lot of buzz about AI, but it sounds like it's becoming very, very real with this announcement. So could you walk us through what you believe the top use cases will be, how you're going to be able to help and participate and, and really leverage uh, the, the network? Yeah, so you're absolutely right. I mean, AI is real. I mean, there are a lot of things that are very buzzy and not quite real, but I think AI is definitely having a monumental, monumental impact uh, on everything, but particularly for the type of business that we focus on. Professional services is very human business, very workflow uh, intensive business, so we believe this is going to be a huge area of impact for AI. And in many ways, this is really an evolution uh, for AI from uh, having AI assistants, chatbots to AI advisors where you actually get recommendations to now having AI agents that in fact automate the workflow uh, for you. So one of the key use cases that uh, we're going to be talking more at Dreamforce is having a semi-autonomous or autonomous customer service agent, customer success agent that really augments the customer success team and uh, provides a lot of value to the professional services organization in automating a lot of tasks uh, instead of just advising or assisting on those tasks. Well, let's talk about that because I think there's also a little bit of, of there's been a lot of anticipation about how AI will change the world, et cetera, and, and the risk of maybe taking jobs away. But in this case, what I'm hearing is very different. What you are saying is uh, you're looking at incremental value uh, so let's talk about that. Is the role of the professional service, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
organization changing? Uh, are you going to need more people, less people? Is it taking jobs away? Or is it, on uh, the other hand, actually mm -hmm. adding incremental value uh, to deliver a very different result that would be better than if you didn't use it? Yeah, so it seems uh, that it would be you know, very complementary, and it would add a lot of incremental value, probably a lot of step value on top of what we as humans have been able to do uh, in the in the personas that Certinia serves. So for professional services, for resource managers, project managers, and also for customer service, uh, customer success, for customer success managers, we really look at the role of AI as supporting uh, the CSM team, supporting the, uh, the resource manager team, and amplifying the impact that uh, they would not be able to have otherwise. So, you know, there is this uh, uh, old kind of paradox that mm -hmm. uh, What's easy for humans is difficult for AI, mm. and what's difficult for AI is actually easy for humans. So I think this works very well when we have the uh, agents actually in service of humans and effectively provide the, the level of impact to amplify what they are trying to do, be it to engage with uh, many, many accounts that you may not be able to reach yourself because you only have so much time in the day, uh, and use the AI agent to support that, flag some issues for you, call out some areas of improvements, and uh, then uh, really em enable the human CSM, uh, the customer success manager, to be very effective in that uh, time comes to meet face-to-face -face or through uh, a video call with that customer. Got it. So let, let's uh, break this down a little more in terms of um, workflow improvements uh, and maybe some uh, metrics or expected metrics. What? What does that translate into if, uh, if I'm well, either a professional uh, services organization within a large organization or, or just, just an action service provider? What does that mean? What can I expect? You know, the metrics are very much uh, uh, what our customers care about. They care about uh, growing their revenue, retaining their customers, uh, keeping their customers uh, satisfied and happy so they keep having that renewal opportunity and discussions and be able to do all that in a very profitable, you know, margin positive way. I think that's the really the beauty of uh, applying AI and really applying agent force, uh, you know, platform uh, to provide that bazooka to the human mm -hmm. team in a way that uh, puts all those, uh, you know, achievement of those metrics uh, much more of a reality than it might be able to do by uh, hiring more humans and actually training mm -hmm. them and onboarding them. Now you can actually have uh, the CSM team, the uh, professional services team, your financial team really focus on uh, the creative discussions, having the value discussions, the specific discussions for that context for that customer, and really automate the workflow uh, that is in service of those conversations. Right. So workflow automation, obviously, it's been one of these uh, hard to achieve uh, objectives uh, because of the complications that sometimes it, it, it brings about the, the need for integrations, lots of code. And, and of course, that breaks all the time. We've heard that from, from others today. Uh, do you see that uh, the use of agent force and your platform in combination will actually simplify uh, the uh, use of the platform overall and amplify it. Uh, and then and then I'd love to talk about best practices after that. Yeah. So first of all, you're absolutely right. It would simplify and it would amplify. If I could make one uh, distinction, and it may actually be a little bit of a nuance, but I think it's a very important nuance. On the Salesforce ecosystem, uh, we have a ton of integrations. In the enterprise world, we have a lot of integrations, and oftentimes they work well. I would love the integrations to be way more prolific, et cetera. Where Certinia distinguishes itself is that we are native on the Salesforce right. platform. So by using Agent Force, really in conjunction with our PS Cloud and CS Cloud, we are effectively providing our customers an opportunity to have a very native experience. So there is no, you know, the integrations, there are no other sort of APIs here uh, involved. We are effectively on the platform, really kind of making uh, that experience, uh, you know, shine up for our customers. So I think that nuance actually plays out very well in terms of productivity, in terms of automation, in terms of the innovation we can deliver uh, to the customers on Salesforce platform by being a native uh, ISV, one of the largest uh, native ISVs on the platform. So I would say that itself is going to be a big 
uh, driver for amplifying and simplifying uh, mm -hmm. the impact that our customers can expect. Yeah, it has to be a, a top differentiator, obviously, and, and, and clearly uh, it's uh, resonating with your customer base. Uh, tell me uh, a little bit more about your customers. Uh, maybe give me a quick example of, of how you've helped them uh, and what do you think the future looks like uh, based on uh, the, this new innovation and this new announcement? Yeah, so Certinia has uh, over 1,400 uh, customers, uh, enterprise customers, B2B, uh, that are using uh, our products. About a 10% of those customers uh, are really large customers. They have over a billion dollars in annual recurring revenue. So we're talking about our customers using uh, Certinia in a highly scalable, uh, highly uh, kind of extensive way. So, so we really kind of push the boundaries of uh, what the Salesforce platform can do for you and effectively provide a level of performance and scale uh, that is unlike uh, most other companies uh, really for, for the target uh, industry that we, we serve, which is professional services. So within the professional services, we have customers uh, like uh, PwC or IBM. They are uh, consulting-based, advisory, pure play, uh, you know, uh, professional services organizations. And then we also have a large number of technology companies that have uh, professional services as a big part of their overall right. charter. So that's where uh, Philips, Siemens, Cisco, and Salesforce uh, would be in that sort of category. And how we help them is effectively by uh, A, I think, bridging the gap between the sales opportunity, so services automation to service delivery. We have uh, services CPQ, uh, resource management, project management, time and materials, et cetera, uh, uh, features. And in fact, uh, one of the recent announcements we also made last week uh, is we, we went uh, uh, general availability for CS Cloud, uh, Customer Success Cloud, which is adjacent product to our PS Cloud, the Professional Services Cloud, and really extends the value of a project-based delivery to an ongoing relationship that we can help our customers. Pretty much in the same kind of value proposition, which is still about helping professional services organizations uh, deliver their projects uh, and deliver their services on an ongoing basis through PS Cloud and CS Cloud. Got it. Well, so uh, in, in closing, I, I'm curious, can you reveal a little bit more about uh, your roadmap? What do you have coming up next to the extent that you can uh, tell us? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, we, I will be happy to sort of share some of the highlights. Uh, given a lot of folks here are at Dreamforce, uh, I would encourage uh, uh, them to go to certinia.com slash Dreamforce. We have a number of sessions where we go through our product roadmap this week in more detail. We'll also put it online after this week is over, so we will be very uh, much more detailed uh, and available for answering any questions that folks may have about roadmap. But uh, we really have uh, uh, some of the major kind of priorities for us. Number one is to stay best in class on professional services uh, and provide the performance and scale for the enterprise level growth. That, that may work for mid-market customers, that may work for other customers too, but really, you know, it, it provides a level of support, level of performance for really, really large cu customers so it can actually scale down very easily. Uh, we also have focus on uh, customer success, uh, and uh, we provide a financial excellence, uh, which really provides the profitability and reporting, uh, predictability and uh, availability for uh, our tools. And I would say one of the most recent ones and one of the more exciting parts of our roadmap, uh, which we'll get into more detail, uh, is about agent force. It's really about thinking how we can apply uh, what the power of AI is available to us, all the way from predictive AI to generative AI to now agent AI, where we don't just sort of provide the assistance or advice about, hey, this would be nice for you to do, or this is a summary of your proposal, or this is you know helpful for your workflow. We effectively uh, provide our customers an ability to actually get some uh, uh, tasks done by engaging with uh, their end users directly. So that's very exciting. At the end of the day, I think it's really about using AI in service of the use cases that we have and staying focused on what our customers care about. That's really how we think about Roadmap. Well, with these great words of wisdom, I'm gonna thank you so much, Raju, for uh, joining us. And I'm uh, gonna thank you uh, for joining theCUBE. My name is Christoph Bertram. I'm a principal analyst here at theCUBE Research. Uh, we are uh, covering uh, Dreamforce 2024 uh, here in San Francisco at the New York Stock Exchange Exchange office. Thank you very much. See you on the next one. Thank you.